hello powerpoint users and welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to cover all the important topics related to color palettes we will start with understanding what are color palettes and how to locate them how to use color palettes in powerpoint designs how to create custom color palettes and finally how to add xml color codes into powerpoint these concepts are very important for every powerpoint designer so let's get started Microsoft Office has one important feature called color schemes and in my experience I have seen most of the designers just don't use this feature in their presentation so to locate this color schemes let's go to design tab under the variant section let's click on this drop down arrow and the first option we see is colors and these are the default color schemes available in the Microsoft Office it is also important to understand where these color schemes are located on your computer so that we can customize them later let me minimize the powerpoint and then go to c drive on my computer since i have 64 bit version of microsoft office i will enter into this program files folder if you have 32 bit version you must enter into this folder here let's open the microsoft office folder then enter into roots folder and then finally document theme 16 folder now if you open this theme colors folder we will find few files and these are the XML files of Microsoft Office color schemes. Let me go back to PowerPoint. Minimize it to keep both the windows visible. Now if you go to the list of color schemes, we can see their names will match with these file names. So that's how you can locate the default color schemes. To understand color schemes and how to use them effectively, let me first draw any shape onto this slide. Now let's go to shape fill. We will find a set of theme colors and it is just one among the available default color schemes. The top row that we see is actually the color scheme and each set of color below it is just the different shades of top row colors. Few things to notice. The default shape color will be the first color among the last six color combinations and whatever the colors are available on the top row, same color theme styles are available under the section of shape styles. Let me expand it to show all different themes. Observe that the color schemes are same. Now if we go to design tab and then choose any other color, say for example red orange, we can see the theme colors will change in the shape fill and even under the shape styles. Again it is worth mentioning. Our shape color will be the first color among the last six color combination and it is true for all other color schemes. So with these minute observations, let me now come to the point. That is how to use these color schemes effectively. For that, let me create total of six shapes. Why exactly six? It is just because I am going to apply last six color combinations from top row of the color scheme. Let me quickly change the fill colors of all the six shapes with the last six color combinations. Now without selecting any of these shapes, let's go to color schemes and just scroll from top to bottom in this list. You can see all the shapes will change their colors dynamically in one shot. So by creating any PowerPoint design using this method. You will give the freedom to your customers to change the colors as per their need without any efforts. Hope you got the point. To create the color schemes, we need color palettes. In slide number 2 and 3, I have added around 35 most popular color schemes, each with the combination of 5 colors. We can easily create color schemes using these palettes. As an example, let me copy the first set of color palette and paste it into slide number 1. Let's go to design tab and then go to color section. At the bottom, you will find an option called customize colors. Here, we can change the colors from accent 1 to accent 6. But since we have the color palette of 5 colors, we will change the colors from accent 1 to accent 5 only. So let's start with accent 1. Choose more colors and here is the field for hex value. I have added all the hex values on all the color palettes, so just copy and paste them into this field. If we try to copy this value, it won't allow because this colors window is still open and PowerPoint doesn't allow such operations when any window is open. 
So let's close all these windows and open a notepad, place it at the bottom and then copy and paste all hex values into it. Now let's again go to colors option, choose customize colors and in each of the accent colors, copy and paste the hex values from notepad. Once done, give a custom name of your choice and save this color scheme. Now if we go to colors option again, our custom color scheme will now be available on the top of this list. Similarly, following the same steps, we must create the color schemes for all 35 patterns. There is one important point to notice here. Let me minimize the powerpoint. In the default color scheme folder, we do not find the xml file of custom color scheme which we have just created. So then where is that file located? Let's find it out in the next section of this video. After spending some time, I have created color schemes out of all 35 color palettes and they are listed from pwp01 until pwp35. Now to locate the xml files of all these color schemes, we need to get into some different folder on our computer. Let me minimize the powerpoint file and then go to C drive, users, power is my computer username and then app data folder. Normally this app data folder will be hidden so you must unhide it by enabling show hidden option on the top. And then open roaming folder, microsoft, templates, document themes and then finally theme colors. So here are the xml files of all 35 color schemes. So I will add all these files into zip archive and then upload this zip file and the color palettes files into google drive. I will share its link in the video description below. So just download this zip file and extract all the xml files into this folder location. Also you can extract these xml files into c drive, program files, microsoft office, root folder, document theme 16 and then theme colors folder. Once done, all these 35 color schemes will start appearing in your Microsoft Office application. Nevertheless, you also know how to create new color schemes. So create it and apply them on your PowerPoint designs. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hope you all find this video useful. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.